Things with altitude training, obviously Flagstaff was snowed in this year, so <laughs> it kind of threw things off. And it was ski season with so much snow, so the hotels were charging like $130 a night. So the place I like to stay was two places I like to stay. One was out of town that's a little snowed in, so I couldn't go there. The other hotel was too expensive, so uh, I'm altitude training in a tent now. Really? Yeah, this is my first time ever. I kind of was on the fence about it, like a lot of people, just because of the cost of it. And mm -hmm. you want it to be you know, cost effective to where it's a tool everyone can use, but... You're looking at four thousand dollars for a week in a hotel, and rental car, and then the flight on top of that. You're talking about five to six thousand dollars for the trip with snow. Right. So uh, it's like, all right, decision's already made for me. But you can rent equipment now for about the tent, the generator, everything for about eight hundred dollars. So for for a full month. Really. So it's like accessible to everyone. Kids in high school can do it now and stuff like that. And when you're racing a guy like Hailey, who's from Addis Ababa, 8,000 feet. He's born there. Generations of his family are from there. He's got genetic adaptations to be able to run at high altitude and bring that to sea level. Like, you don't have a choice, you know? You, you gotta bring your A game. So, I think other athletes that are in the race, I won't mention any names. <laughs> I've been using tents for a long time, so it's totally new to me. And it's been a big adjustment because I'm used to doing hard workouts at 7,000 feet or 4,000 feet in Sedona and then coming down to sea level and I'm doing you know sleeping in the tent and then sea level workout so it's been a big adjustment to try to adapt what I normally do at altitude right. for this race so it may work out it may not I don't know but thanks to Hypoxico <laughs> <laughs> for sending the tent and the generator <laughs> I appreciate it uh, you know and they helped educate me on some of the equipment so nice. I encourage young athletes to at least look at it now because if you want to be seriously competitive uh, post collegiately, you're going to have to look at altitude training at some point. And from personal experience, you guys know some of my older interviews. <laughs> It'll wipe out your wallet, man. It really will. Going to Flagstaff for months at a time, being away from your wife and family, away from your home, your comfortable environment, living in a hotel environment. I mean, it's really tough. It takes a toll. So to have this option now is really cool. Yeah. You know? I don't know that. It, I don't know that it'll work the same as being in altitude, but it seems to me like it'll probably be close to it. Nice. So I'm looking forward to this. See what happens.